Bop, you bop. Everybody loves you bop. Hey bop, you bop. Rock bop. Shoo doo 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 doo. Five foot two, eyes blue. Oh, what that five foot can do has anybody seen? My girl. We lived in Vulcan Street, and that was first street off my Pottinger Road, coming from town. Just a two-bedroom house and outside toilet. My mother lived at number five, that was the first one. My grandmother lived at number 11. My mother's cousin lived in 13. My Aunt Marie lived in 25. And my uncle lived at the other end. We all just walked in near one another's houses. We were up the door or anything. Nobody made a small dinner. Everybody just made a dinner. Kids would bring somebody in which they'd sit up there. And then you went round the wall to see how many there was, who was who. Was who. <laughs> Has anybody seen my girl? And everybody had pride in their wee homes, you know, keeping them nice and anything was coming up the windows and all were cleaning the curtains. You had to go down your knees, there was no maps or nothing. Things like that, you know, you think, oh God, wish we'd bathrooms and all this, but you'd give the world to be back. Well, I would anyway, to be back in them days again. Because everybody sat at the door and yarn and talk once the good weather came in. Bob has anybody seen my girl? There's always topics for conversation and there's always some news of some kind. Well, it's about somebody or something. You know, everybody got a wee touch. They did. Everybody got a touch. Probably talked about me when I wasn't there. While the women were on the doorsteps, their men were at the docks. And sometimes, at the end of the week, the men returning home was a queue for the women to go out. The rollers was put in. Hairs got white and rollers was put in. Wasn't too often we got out for a night. You know, but when we did get out, we did. People didn't know us when we got cleaned up then, you know, our hair and our makeup and all. And there wasn't even much drink or anything. A couple of wee drinks and that's how everybody was right late. The house was packed and, you know, it was such a small house, you wonder how it all got into it, you know. Our mates came, you know, and brought a wee carry out out of the bar and sat and everybody brought their own carry outs and sat and enjoyed it. I never seen nobody in there. I'm in a bungalow now, and there's only trees in front of me. And you wouldn't see nobody walking by. And if you see anybody, you jump up to see who it is. I still would say to this day, and I'm 18 years up in this house, I would give the world to have my kitchen house back again. I really, I really mean that. I would give the world to be back in Vulcan Street.